You gotta imagine Newbie's last pick needs to kind of address that illusion Ten problem. Seconds remaining. Yeah. Um, and just melee heroes against clinks as well are really effective. Five it's hard to deal with remaining. them otherwise. Yeah. Like, He's a gap closer as well with the Phantom Rush. That's true. Can't really use that ranged advantage at all. Pinga. So, decent in terms of giving you a good team fight. Has some ways to clear illusions with his AoE spells. Can also go for like a casual Maelstrom. The rest of VG, they were smoked up. They're going to get the arrow on the Bane. Bring him down first. Terrorize. Going to be pump faked here. Trying to catch out a couple of heroes, but unsuccessful. Except Eleven, who is still so low. Brought down by the BKB. Wow. S triple C. Bloodseeker does die despite his BKB. And Clinks is kind of salvaging this fight. Yulsep is there. There is an A on Disto. Oh, no, sorry. That's not KP. That's Kaka instead. He should be dead, but the Nightmare trying to help him out. The Shadow Rumble followed up. He's going for the TP. KP also going at the Rolling Thunder, though, but he has no backup whatsoever. All right. That's exactly what him and Kaka are going to do in the mid lane. Now the Rolling Thunder comes in. They catch two. He blinks. He leaps or blinks into it. 11 just TP'd right in. Immediately melts. What was he thinking? Well, they'll get a tower out of it at least, but yeah. Kaka might be able to get the follow-up. He's got Doppelganger. He can remove that. He's got a Manta in two seconds as well. Here comes the Teleport. Doesn't quite catch him. Never mind. The Yule's going to interrupt there, it. Yeah. So they have Fiends Grip. They don't. They've got a Nightmare, though. It's getting scary, though. They need some AoE wave. Yeah, Paparazzi might get killed. with the PL. Yeah, Paparazzi is just going to hold his ground and fight. He's going on Ooh. S-Triple-C, S-Triple-C. He's like, that's a PL. My hero doesn't touch PL. Paparazzi, oh, he, pulls he finds him with the real one. He's not being dealt with. They followed his illusion. He's gone after S-Triple-C. He's going to get this oh kill. My God. Paparazzi, one versus five. You magician. Great nightmare. Nightmare, yeah, that actually saves his life. There was a Shackle, and it got immediately canceled, but the Reaper... Gonna find the Bloodseeker Aegis here. That means Necro's in. Bit of a tough pickle here. He's got BKB as well as an Axe if he can buy some time, but the cooldown is way too long for him. And he and Mirana both get picked off. Newbie. Uh, no, they did not. No. He, he spots them. He actually gonna drop the Serpent from the low ground to high. Instant Reaper gonna take the Dark Willow out for two minutes, so he's gonna immediately buy back. Klinks is going for Lan M with the silence there. The right clicks, they've got the detection, so they will get the kill here, but that's the Rolling Thunder down Bane. Bro, he knows there's maybe a Shadow Demon behind and would have been correct. And there's going to be a Blood Rite for Vision that misses. One more right click, it also misses. Oh my gosh, can they catch a break or not? He'll finish him off with Ooh, the Swarth Buckle and the grip on Ori. The Terror Rise to make sure he doesn't use any spells. They get two kills out of it. A row on KP. Trying to force out the Aeon disc, they'll be successful. The Yule Scepter, oh, he barely dodges the Blood Ride, almost Bad landed in it. Clink's coming in, yeah, the Blood Seeker, oh, doesn't quite die there. Yeah, He's nightmare. still alive on the BAP. Still ends up dying, not to the Reaper at least. As S Triple C is holding his ground, trying to fight, trying to take down Paparazzi. The arrow will be blocked by the BKB. Paparazzi still fairly low, but he's starting to heal up by the heart. They haven't managed to break that one, and they're going to chase down the Willow. If he dies, he's dead for like two minutes. Evan looks for the arrow, hits the Dark Will in the back lines here. The Serp wants chewing away at this Rax here. Paparazzi still getting low. He has got the cheese. He's trying to bait them in. It looks like Paparazzi should be just fine. The Reaper comes out, deletes the Bane. Ori, though, it doesn't exist. There's well, no they might kill him. Here, but can they actually get the kill? There's a disruption. Comes just in time before he gets stunned up by KP's Rolling Thunder. They're still going to get the kill here. Great play from Newbie. Their team fight prowess really shining as they get the second and third. Leaping in is the Moran of 11. A suicide mission, if, if anything. Kind of doing Marana a forward leaping scout. forward, looking for a Yule Scepter. Finds it on the Clinks. Is there an arrow to follow up? He times this one perfectly. S Triple C could be the one in some trouble, but instead they're going to go for the Dark Willow first. Instead, the Aeon Disc not saving his life. Immediate buyback coming out. KP rolling his way on through, trying to get a few heroes here, but the BKB from Ori stopping that Rolling Thunder from stunning him up. It's Moogie on the Bloodseeker who almost dies to the PL, but he gets saved by the Nightmare. How's Moogie still alive? Once again, Faith has saved his life only for a little bit longer, though. Fenrir did still finish him off. I believe some poison damage. He comes in from behind, and now he's found more. It's Fenrir on the Shadow Demon, the hero support. He's got himself a double kill somehow, and the Dark Willow who just bought back Kaka. He hasn't got an escape. He uses himself, but he needs another Shadow Realm, and he just doesn't have one. Or Enigma support, I guess, but I've only seen KP play Five Enigma for newbie. Remaining. But if that could change, if it's Enigma support, that would it would have to be like a safe lane Necro, safe lane Weaver solo, something like that. Yeah. That's the only thing that would make sense. The, uh, the that avoid great fissure. Yeah, they're gonna get some right clicks. The fissure, I believe, has blocked off his high ground path as well. The stun's gonna stop Eleven getting some right clicks off, and with S Triple C showing up with a death bolt, any damage from the clinks. Here comes the void. Break, Bruno. Yep, TP in the shrine comes in at the perfect time. S Triple C goes down. They want Kaka as well. Pale is there though to buy him some time. Like avoid okay. without Chrono killing Kaka. That's why I'm very confused here. Uh, okay, he does stay alive. Chrono comes out. Not the best one, but they do have TP support coming. Star Storm gonna hit twice, and that's a dead Weaver. Moogie did not have the health to survive that one. Luckily for us, we'll see. Dream creep to be death back. Yes, uh, maybe a big mistake to go the helm. 
mean, it is a very long cooldown on Death Pack, but still. You go hunt down that creep when impossible. They're diving in this top lane. They really want to take a fight here. They've got initially on Fenrir, who has got the False Promise here. We'll see if he uses on himself. No, he's going to use on Lanham on the Shaker. Give away his own life knowing that he's going down here. The Wraith can catch the arrow, but he's got Reincarnation if he wants to skill. They're going to go for a straight up Black Hole on the Mirana. No leap away for you. Reaper as well for you. All the ulties being dumped on 11. Two for four hits. It's good, but throwing a Javelin on top of it like, increases the damage by so much. See if they get the kill here. He's going to be able to jump away, reduce some damage in case they chase, but very likely to go down. Yeah. yeah. Are they split up enough? He finds just KP. Follow up arrow should land. KP should not have a good escape out of this one. There's no real save for Echo him. Echo slam the them. <laughs> yeah. He wishes. Buyback coming in from KP. They really want to take this fight. Faith is just charging forward. The Reaper comes out, brings down Oracle. What more can Newbie find? With the buyback from Enigma, you got to imagine they're not happy just with the one kill. They're they hoping for more. And without leak charges, 11. Should be in some trouble here, but the Fissure buying him some time until a blink S triple C actually oh, going to catch no. the Void. He does have time walk, but he's being chain stunned here. The Malefice at the end to finish him off. Now there's no Echo, no Chrono, no Moonlight Shadow. Things are just in an awkward place for them. Faith needs to be careful. Does have just enough mana for the reincarnation right now. And he's just looking to, to use it. There we go. He gets taken out by Purifying Flames. Slows three heroes here. Who's immediately charging back in to stun up the Mirana. They were trying to finish off this melee rack, so that'd be a really nice pick up this early on in the game. They're gonna get a Jeez. finger kill on Paparazzi. They do lose one here. The black hole, a smidgen too late to save up and save the life of Paparazzi, who is gonna buy back immediately. They did get a couple of buybacks out of this one. Unfortunately, they may lose more lives here. S-Triple-C doesn't have blink for a few seconds here. Line goes down to the stray, as does the Wraith King here. Nubia just throwing lives away to protect SCCC, who's going for the TP out. No, oh, he had the Echo Slam. Trying over the range tracks. Yeah, because you can secure Rose a whole lot easier. It just takes it away. We'll lose KP down bottom. He gets picked off by himself. There's a counter kill coming out from Necro. Gets the Reaper. KP is nearby. They see him. He's going to go for the Echo. Gets the Idol launch and the Helm crew. That hashtag efficiency. Dota. They've smoked up. They're the ones going on the aggressive. They scout things out with the Skeleton Walk on Clinks. They've got Ooh. an arrow that's going to find KP in the trees. No chance to use anything. Faith in some trouble as well. Or he's there with the BKB Clinks. He takes down Lion first. Goes for the second kill now on the Wraith King. And that's going to be three kills in total. They're going to go charging forward for this kill. Just they time. have an arrow, I believe. Can they time it? Yep, they will. And that should be a dead Wraith King. Paparazzi's just, you know, he's going to go time walking and look for a Chrono. That's a attempted finger kill. He's not even going to die. He's even got an Aegis, so even if they do, don't save him. It's not a big problem. He goes forward with the BKB. Shaker, he's fine. He's ready to drop. He doesn't actually go where he wanted to. He gets the Echo Slam now out on S Triple C here. The buyback coming out from Wraith King. He's just going to die a second time at this rate. Paparazzi slows him with the time dilation. Needs to be careful. He's taking quite a bit of damage. Arrow's going to land, though. SCCC. He's done for on the Necro. He's got buyback as well. Moogie needs to get out of this one. There is a gem on the Shaker. It looks like they're going to be forced to back off. TP in from Lion straight to the Shrine. Lanham tries him with a Totem. Doesn't succeed and instantly dead is Kaka. What is going on here? Just trying to get some skeletons in mid and he's going to pay for it with his life it looks like. Clinks does get mixed up though from the high ground. And Newbie can't play this. Lanham says no. He goes flying in. Gets an Echo Slam on two. Doesn't kill anyone off but he sets up the Void to get a nice Chrono. Onto two, including the key, key Necrophos kill. Enigma's dead. None of these heroes have buyback. I believe most of them bought back in the last fight. 